It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the 27th of April. I'm Michael Groff. An absolutely gorgeous day ahead and maybe the last one we have for about another six months or so. Temperatures well below average, a small chance we could see a shower or thunderstorm. But then after that, a big warming trend coming for the rest of the week. Near record high temperatures possible on Saturday before a subtle cooling trend after that. All right, let's talk about it. First, yesterday, 80 degrees the afternoon high, 65 was the low. That occurred at 11.49 p.m. The normal high, 88. The normal low, 63. And yeah, we didn't pick up any rain yesterday, and we've only had a trace of rain so far this morning. Looking outside right now here at 7.15 a.m., scattered clouds out there right now, a couple of showers north and east of the valley, and we're sitting at 61 degrees right now. Dew point at 46, relative humidity 59%. The winds are calm, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures this morning are perfect. 50 degrees is the cool spot at Thompson Peak, 55 at Goldfield, upper 50s to middle 60s through most of the metro. The upper air look shows you that deep trough, the upper low here moving across the southwestern United States today, and that's going to give us enough instability and dynamic support for a few showers and thunderstorms across the central and eastern portion of the state and continue with the cool temperatures for one more day before high pressure very quickly builds in after that. The watch warning maps and red flag warnings over parts of New Mexico, West Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Kansas. Otherwise, things pretty quiet across the country right now. The convective outlook for today, a slight risk of severe storms over parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. The broader severe weather risk extends all the way up into the western Great Lakes. Here in Arizona, we are in the green, so a few thunderstorms possible around the state today. And precipitation, this is valid through next Tuesday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix, a few hundredths of an inch are possible. And somewhat heavier totals across the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona. A few showers might linger into tomorrow. But then a big change in the weather pattern. We'll talk about all of that as we take a look at modeling. Here we go. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our upper trough here across the southwest. Cool, unstable air aloft. So down at the surface today, partly sunny skies, isolated showers and thunderstorms rumbling about. And the key word there, isolated, though, if you do manage to run into one here, it could produce some brief gusty winds and some small hail. But the reality is most of us probably aren't going to see any rain today. Only about a 20% chance we'll see anything more here in the valley. Highs this afternoon, absolutely perfect. Low to middle 70s. Get out and enjoy it. This is the last time we'll probably have temperatures like that until later in October, maybe November. Tonight, we become mostly clear. We start to dry out. Overnight low is very pleasant. Upper 40s to middle 50s. And then tomorrow, a few showers across eastern Arizona, but we turn sunny and drier here in Phoenix. High temperatures, low to middle 80s. The ridge continues to strengthen on Thursday. Highs low to middle 90s with sunny sky. And then on Friday, yeah, check out this upper chart. There's that 591 contour. Certainly very early in the season to be seeing that, but there it is. So unseasonably hot weather rolls in. Highs upper 90s to near 100. On Saturday, the heat continues to build here across the southwest deserts. A few high clouds might come in. We'll call it partly sunny, but that's not going to slow down the warm-up. And we're going with the forecast temperature range of 100 to 103 for the Phoenix area. The record high for the date is 103, so we'll be very close to tying that mark. And some guidance suggests we could even be warmer than that. Now, on Sunday, the ridge is going to start to flatten out just a bit. High temperatures will fall off a few degrees back to the upper 90s to around 100, but that is certainly above average. And then on Monday, we continue to cool it off a bit. Highs upper 80s to low 90s. Again, the sky mostly sunny. Just some afternoon breezes coming in as weather systems continue to knock down our ridge. Here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 4th of May. We've got a weak little wave out here just to the west of us that might move in, bring an increase in high clouds, but it's not going to do much other than knock temperatures down another degree or two. Still likely in the upper 80s and low 90s, though. But here we go, out 10 days. This is Thursday the 6th, and another big ridge coming in, and that means sunny, hot, dry conditions. And looking at rainfall for Phoenix over the next couple of weeks off of the GFS Ensemble, some of the members show some extremely light rain today. Other than that, we look to be dry through at least the first 10 days of May. And that's not unusual. And then temperatures off the national blend of models. Absolutely perfect today. And then disgusting by the time we get to the weekend. That high of 103 on Saturday. Yes, that would tie a record. 
And the record high for Sunday, 107 degrees. I don't think we have to worry about that, but still well above average all the way out through the rest of the period. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. You guys be safe out there and have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday.